Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Cedar Creek 38 EL. This is the Champagne Edition. So we'll start off here inside, talk about some of the beautiful amenities in here, then we'll head out and talk a little bit about construction. If we start off in this main living area, you'll see there's dual opposing slides, which really opens up this floor plan, giving you this big living space and allowing for your center island. If you look up at the ceiling, you'll notice a couple great things up here. One, it is a barreled ceiling, so it feels a lot more open. It's really big in here. LED lights going all the way through there. And you'll also notice right back here, this one has your air intakes on the side rather than your box back here. That is because this one has quiet, cool AC. This one does have the optional third AC. So there are three ACs in here with the power management system so it can go back and forth between the two to make sure the coach stays nice and cool. You'll also notice your ceiling fan, the racetrack style dual ducted AC, and above your center island is this gorgeous infinity light here. Great centerpiece. You have a couple LED lights on there as well to help provide light while you're cooking. If we move over to the slide on the door side, first of all, if you look at the fascia here, you will notice that it has this design in it. So it's not just plain and boring. They did spice it up a little, has a curvature to it there as well. When we look in the slide itself, you will see your table located here. There are currently two fixed chairs. However, this does uh, pull out and you can put a leaf in there. There are also two foldable chairs, so you can set four people here. They're kind of a buffet style table. You'll notice this right over here to the side. This is nice because it does, you know, it looks very nice, very uh, reminiscent of a motor home. Plus it gives you a place where you can put, you know, your butter, if you're having corn on the cob, something like that, kind of set it off to the side. And on the back side, when we go outdoors, you will see there's a TV located there. You'll also see the beautiful slow rise roller shades. You have both the day and night. I like the fact that your night shade is the beige rather than black. That way when you do close it down for privacy at night, it stays nice and bright in here. The black a lot of times can make it feel really dark and you know it just kind of feels uh, like you're closed in at nighttime, but the beige definitely helps give you that open feeling. Some cool light fixtures in here as well. You know, you'll see rather than just a, a plain old uh, light sticking up there, they kind of have it same thing with the wall sconces. They bring it all together, but pretty cool light. I like what they did with the acrylic and having the bubbles in there. LED lights over here just to help brighten this space up. A couple electrical outlets on that wall as well, folks. You have one on either side of the table, so if you have to sit there and do some work on computer laptop, you can plug it in. Or if you're sitting right here in your Lazy Boy Theater seats, you can plug it in right there as well. When I say Lazy Boy, I don't say that as a type. This is truly Lazy Boy brand theater seating. So extremely comfortable. You have cup holders here. The armrest does lift up with a little extra storage. And more importantly, folks, this is powered, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, thing I, the reason I really like this one, of course, it's a little easier, but more importantly than that, from a lot of the shows and stuff that I've been to, I'll see some older folks that sit down in the recliners, and while they generally don't have too much of a problem putting the legs up, bringing it back down can be a little tricky. Having to snap it in place, you know, a lot of times the leg strength just isn't there and it's quite difficult. With the, the power here, it's literally a touch of a button, so I definitely do like having it in a higher end coach here like the Cedar Creek is. Take a look along the back. You have an 88 inch sofa right here. That is a high to bed. Again, lazy boy sofa, extremely comfortable. You can see how nice and plush this is, folks. You'll sit here and guests will be very comfortable. You have electrical outlets on both sides. Again, if you need to plug anything in. The wall sconces, like I mentioned, they match that uh, light above your table. Windows all the way throughout here, including the big rear picture window there. LED lights up top and more storage going across the top. You'll see you have kind of this decorative glass, which is nice. Good storage behind that. And if you look at the top, you can kind of see again that curvature of that barreled ceiling, as I had mentioned. So we move over to the off door slide here. You have your Samsung 4K TV. That's a big deal, folks. I have personally have a Samsung at home. It's my favorite brand of TV. They make great electronics. And so you know you have a quality television here. You'll get great picture quality on that. 
Right down below is your Jensen Multimediums, uh, Multimedia System, as well as the sound bar right there. You'll see some accent lights back here. There's actually quite a few accent lights throughout this coach, including here, underneath the fireplace, kitchen uh, as well, which we'll see in a little bit. But speaking of that fireplace, gorgeous, four foot, 48 inch fireplace there. Absolutely beautiful. Not only does this look nice, but it's also very functional as that is a space heater. So that way all you have to do is just turn it on. You know, if you don't wanna run, uh, you're, you don't wanna use up your propane, you have shore power, turn that guy on. It'll help take the chill off in this space. Obviously, if it gets too cold out, you'll have to use propane, but uh, it does do a good job while you're sitting there watching TV. Then as we step into the kitchen, I love the kitchen in here. Look how much prep space you have here in the center island, especially over to the side of the sink. I love that they give you all of this. Sink top covers here too, as you would expect in a higher end coach. When we take these sink top covers off though, look how deep these bowls are. That's a big deal. This is a place where a lot of manufacturers will skimp out. They'll give you, you know, a, a shallow bowl where you can't really do much. Not at all the case here. You have nice, deep 60, 40 bowls there with the high rise pullout faucet. If we take a look underneath, you'll notice a couple things here. Right over here, you have a drawer. Silverware divider is already in there. You can remove it if you so choose, but I like the fact it's in there. But take a look when I go to close the drawer. You'll see that it is slow close and that they will have that all the way throughout, which is a great feature. That way you're not slamming drawers. It just kind of pulls them close nice and easy. Underneath that is your optional dishwasher, folks. If you're talking about high-end RVing, having a dishwasher can be quite convenient. So you have that here for ease of use. Just remember for winterization time, you will want to make sure you winterize that as well. Right here, little drop down for your uh, sponges or your soap in there if you want to borrow a hand soap or something. Underneath the sink itself, you have another pull out drawer right there, which is cool because that way you don't have to get down your hands and knees. You know, to be able to reach in the back, you can pull that out and have access to all of your cleaning chemicals or whatever else you decide to put down there. Moving our way back up here real quick, you'll see that you have this uh, pantry space that is backlit, again, with that decorative glass. When we open this up, I absolutely love this. You have three drawers in here, but take a look. Uh, if you can kind of look behind this one, you'll see right there you have an electrical outlet. The reason I love that is because that way you can put some appliances in here. You want to put a toaster in here, maybe a small coffee maker, you can do that. That way you can just pull it out, use it when you're done, put it right back. You don't have to get it out, which I love. And then if you look underneath that, this is a cool feature too. You have an actual wine cooler right here. So the wine cooler here, you have the space right off to the side. That way if you want to keep your whites nice and chilled, you can do that. Have your reds over to the side here. You know, if you only like whites, fill it with white too. It doesn't matter. And underneath, you have a good size storage drawer there. Once again, you can see the slow close. Moving over, you have uh, more countertop space here. Beautiful solid surface countertops all the way throughout. Induction cooktop right here, folks. This is, you know, definitely a great thing to have. You'll, again, you'll see a lot of motorhomes have this, some higher end uh, RVs as well. The great thing about induction is it heats up and cools down a lot quicker. Plus, it doesn't use near as much energy as you would think, which is pretty great as well. Underneath, you will see you have a couple of drawers here. Gotta love that. Good sized drawers. And then if we move underneath those, again, more drawers. They do a great job of having that pull-out storage. They try to make everything as easy to access as possible. You'll see that is mimicked on this side right here. Gorgeous backsplash, very unique. You know, a piece you don't see very often. It's kind of made to look like, uh, you know, real rock. So I like what they've done. I think that's pretty cool. Over to the side, of course, electrical outlet. In case you need a permanent spot to plug in your coffee maker, you can put it right there. Moving up top, you'll notice that because we have the induction cooktop, we don't have an oven. That's because they have this Whirlpool convection microwave oven right here. Stainless steel suite of appliances throughout. Uh, this is great, 30 inch oversized. You can fit a ton in here. So it is your microwave, it is your oven. And again, it's easier to clean, your convection is, and it honestly heats up and uh, cooks faster than your standard oven as well. You'll see storage there on both sides. 
Uh, so moving up a little bit further here, we get into the Whirlpool Residential Fridge Freezer Combo. Stainless steel, this is 20 cubic foot, so plenty of space. This one we just got from the manufacturer, folks, so you can see it still has all the packing material in here. Your drawers and stuff are still here. Those, of course, will be put in the doors, but you have a ton of space in here, which is awesome. Bear in mind that this, this coach, of course, is meant to have shore power or have your generator running. You'll need to have one of the two to be able to power this. There is an inverter, so as you're traveling down the road, everything will stay nice and cool. But once you get to your campsite, you need to have the shore power or have a generator that is running to power it. And as we open this up, this, of course, is your freezer. You will see your freezer space right down there. And then same thing, you have a little bit of freezer space there too. You kind of have the basket right up top. We take a look at the very end. You have a little bit more storage here, big tall doors. Of course, top shelf's a little tough. You might want a step stool to be able to reach that, but that's the case for just about every fifth wheel when they maximize your upper level storage there. More there, and then a little bit here. If you move over to this side, you kind of see this little space. Again, you have the solid surface LED light, that decorative backsplash right there. A couple more drawers, which is always nice. And then if you take a look underneath, you have the storage right here. But this is really cool. Check this out. Pull this guy open, right there you have two trash cans. And directly above it, look at this, they give you a little drawer. You know what this is perfect for? Having a couple rolls of trash bags right here. That way you can just take them out, stick them right in there. Super convenient. I love that they put that in there and they gave you the two trash cans. One more quick thing I want to talk about. If you take a look at the bottom of the steps right there, folks, that is your central vac. If you uh, want to make it nice and easy to clean up, you can use a central vac in here. That way you don't have to find a spot for, to bring your vacuum from home. Right out here on the side of your cabinet is your thermostat, and this will control both zones. You also have an electrical outlet there in case you do want to put something on that little bar area. And if we take a look at this, as soon as you walk in, you'll see this is your main control panel. Notice how it is tucked behind doors so it's not sticking out, it's not an eyesore. The majority of your components, folks, are right here. Your slides, your awning, the majority of your lights, tank monitoring panel. This little guy right here that's unlabeled, that is for your ceiling fan. Uh, you'll also notice you have another slide right here. This is your hydraulic one. Uh, right next to that, this control is for your jacks. That way you can get out and be able to uh, open and close this guy down, control your slides, your awning, and your jacks right from there. Uh, you know, that just makes it a little more convenient so you can make sure you're not going to hit anything as you're opening up uh, your slides there. Then if we take a look right down here, this is your power management system. Again, that's because this one does have the third AC unit. And then you have this little unit right over here. This is pretty cool, folks. This is a great owner's manual. If you need any troubleshooting, you can get in this tablet right here, and you can actually load that up and be able to troubleshoot uh, your RV right from the convenience of being inside it. And right in here, you'll notice a couple different things. This one is pre-wired for solar. You'll also see right there you have some coat hooks. And right down below is your gen prep. This one does not have the generator on it, but does have the gen prep option. So we step into the bathroom, you'll see one of my favorite parts about this floor plan, and that is the double vanity right here. I love having this, folks. It can be an absolute lifesaver, a marriage saver. It's a great thing to be able to have two people getting ready at the same time. You have your own private bowls there, of course, big mirror right there in the center, and you have storage on both sides as well. You have, uh, you have a lot of controls right over here. You have a control for your fantastic fan, so you do have a big power vent fan in here light controls there, electrical outlets on both sides. You'll see a little hand towel ring right there. Same thing over here, I'm sorry, rather, uh, over here you have a, a little bit fancier one. You can see the swoop right there, which is kind of cool. Right underneath that though, folks, is your Gerard uh, on-demand water heater. So this is an awesome system. I know you've probably heard a lot of bad things about on-demand, but I'm telling you, try out the Gerard system. A lot of manufacturers are going to that. It does work very well. A couple more towel hooks right over here, which are perfect for the shower. Toilet paper holder right down under there. You'll see you have good storage underneath as well. Take a look at that. This is pretty cool what they did here. In order to try to maximize your storage, you'll see they actually cut this out for the P-traps underneath the sink. But they did allow you to use this little bit right up front here, and then they kind of divided it into two sides. So I like that they tried to maximize that. Then you have the whole drawers right down below. Again, you can see those are also soft clothes. And then you have the accent lighting there underneath. 
The toilet here itself is a porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean and to make it even easier, you'll see you have a little hand wand right back there. As I step into the shower itself, this is a one-piece residential style shower, so less chance for any leaks. You have an actual glass shower door on here. You will have a seat right in the back. This is nice if you do want to sit down, but also for shaving your legs, you can put your leg right up there. Just makes life a little easier on you. Skylight here to let in natural light. If you need it for additional height, you're a really tall person. I'm six foot, you see. I'm nowhere even near the ceiling there. And then right up front here is your hand wand. This is on a shower bar, so you can set that to your desired height. Lastly, right outside, you have an additional linen closet. I'll step back out and open this up for you so you can take a look. So that's a great spot for your towels or anything else you want to store in there. When you step into the master bedroom, you will see the slide out king bed here. 72 by 80, so plenty of room for you to roll around. Hopefully you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night. You also have the leather padded headboard there. So if you want to sit up and read a book, you can do so. You'll see the directional lighting there too. Windows on both sides, both of those do open so you can have cross ventilation. You also have the roller shades on those. Right down, or right to the side rather, you will see that you have a little nightstand with some storage underneath on both sides too. And you have access to electrical outlets on both sides in case you need to plug in a CPAP machine or anything else that you need to sleep with. On the far wall here, you will see that there is a mirror as well as a couple of robe hooks right there too, so that way if you have to wake up and it's early, it's cold, you can wake up, grab your robe, throw it on, and head out to the bathroom or maybe have a cup of coffee, whatever you need to do. Right here at the foot of the bed, you have the Jensen TV located there. This is on an angle downward, so you do get a good view while you're laying down in bed. Electrical outlet there for any additional auxiliary equipment you want to hook up. And a big dresser right underneath. You'll see you have the smaller three top drawers going right across the top here. And then you have six larger ones underneath that. They are quite a bit deeper. Over to the side here, you have the bench seat, which is great. So that way, you know, if you want to sit down, just kind of, you know, put your, put your shoes on, or your pants, whatever it may be. This makes it nice and easy. Accent lighting there all the way underneath. You have a window here too. This is an emergency exit, a little bit larger, so you are able to get out. This is something that I really like right here too. This is a little space heater, cadet space heater there. So, you know, we talked about not burning a ton of propane. You have the fireplace out in the main living area. At nighttime, you know, you shut your door, turn this on. This will do a good job of heating it up in here. And you're not using up near as much propane. You're not heating the rest of the coach if you don't have to. And then right up front is the wardrobe. You have these slider doors, the beautiful glass on there. We take a look inside. You will see that you have uh, two racks right here on this side. So excellent hanging space. Another one going across. The laundry basket does come with it. Uh, of course, this other stuff does too. Again, I just got this in the manufacturer. I'll have to apologize for the mess. You see you have two chairs right here. Those are your foldable chairs I had mentioned right there. Good, shel or good shelving space all the way in the back, all the way around, which is cool. Two lights on top, as well as an LED light down below. You'll also see you have hooks in here, which are great, you know, for uh, handbags, something like that. You can hang them up right there, which is pretty nice. And over to the side right here is your washer dryer prep. You'll see your washer prep is right there. The plug-ins for them are right along that back wall. So if you do want those, that is where it goes. Now that we've seen the inside, let's talk about some of the outside features of the Cedar Creek 38EL. Starting off right up front here, as I mentioned, this is the champagne edition, and you can see the beautiful champagne color that goes along with that. Uh, very clean in the front. I like what they've done. You know, before they had kind of like a big mural on the front of it. They got rid of that, which I definitely approve of. I think, again, it's a much cleaner look that they've gone to. A couple LED lights right here on the front for you. Down below is your trail air air ride system. This helps take some of the bucking and chucking out while you're going down the road. You see the little rubber donut right there. That again, kind of helps eat some of that shock as you're traveling. If we shoot underneath, we'll open up this front compartment real quick here. And as I had mentioned inside folks, this one does have the generator prep option. So right there is your generator prep. You see you do have a little additional storage off to the side. Right down below is one of your six hydraulic jacks. This one does have hydraulic auto level, making it a lot easier to set up and tear down. Let's take a quick look all the way up at the ceiling here. Uh, one of the things you will notice is the roof edge itself actually rolls over. A lot of times it's uh, just, it's a lot smaller. They just barely comes over. Not the case here. It's a big rollover, so that lip comes down. 
you know, an extra inch or two for you, which helps with some of the water runoff, as well as if you do brush up against anything. You brush up against a branch, something like that, it's a bigger radius, so it's less chance to tear that roof membrane. Of course, you have the gutter system there, so the water runs to the front and back instead of down on your campsite. And if we drop down below that, we get to the power awning. The cool thing about the power awning is you'll see it does have the metal cover on it. The, this is great because oftentimes it's how your awning gets beat up, just sitting there. The, uh, you know, the sun starts beating on it, you'll start to get little pinholes right where it attaches to the RV. That cover will help protect from that. Not only do you have one, you have two because there is a second one on the slide out itself. Just touch a button, those of course roll out providing uh, lots of excellent shade. Great camp space here on the Cedar Creek. Frameless windows on there as well, folks. Not only do these look a lot nicer, uh, you know, it's a much cleaner look. Also though, the cool thing about them is you can have them open while it's raining because the way they open, they essentially tilt open. Plus the seals themselves are behind the glass, so it's protected a little more from the elements. A couple speakers out here, if you want to listen to music, you can certainly do that right there. And dropping down a little further here are your two propane tanks, so you have two 30 pounders there. Coming over to this side, first of all look how thick this door is, inch and a quarter doors on here, nice thick doors. You know those things are solid, slam latch, this one does have these struts on there too. If we take a look inside, again, bear with me for the boxes, guys. I apologize. This is what the uh, TVs came in. But uh, if we take a look right over here, you will see where your central vac dumps out at. You have a light and electrical outlet there as well. But more importantly, look how much space you have in here. It's absolutely massive, and that is thanks to the Z-frame construction. So let's talk about construction a little bit. Uh, we'll actually start with the uh, axles themselves. This one has two 8,000 pound Dexter axles. Those are easy lube axles. They also have self-adjusting brakes, which are great. You have your H-range tires on there. So great solid tires underneath this solid coach. Above that, you have your 10 inch I-beam. That is the main structure, the main support here. And one of the things I like that they do is underneath for your enclosed underbelly, rather than just using like a kind of like a glorified cardboard like a lot of manufacturers use, they have individual ABS pieces. The cool thing about that is for maintenance. If for any reason you have to get under there, they can just take a piece out. They don't have to rip the whole underbelly out. So that is uh, definitely a great feature to have. Also for insulation, whether it's here in the, uh, in the floor, in the walls, or in the roof, they use a wool spun insulation, which is awesome. Uh, great R values. They have your radiant barrier in the floor there as well, so it does a great job of reflecting the heat, making sure it stays nice and warm on those cold days or nice and cool on those hot days. Uh, they have a uh, three, five eighths inch, sorry, five eighths inch floor decking on there as well when you're inside. So uh, you know, nice solid tongue and groove floor. It's easy to walk on. Your side walls here are quite unique to the industry. Most manufacturers, when they have this uh, side wall, this fiberglass, which this is one of the best fiberglasses in the industry, folks. This is a true gel coat. This is your noble classic fiberglass on here. Uh, very high end, absolutely gorgeous. You can see reflection in it. Most manufacturers that use that have a laminated process. Cedar Creek still uses an aluminum structure all the way throughout, roof, sidewalls, and the floor. But instead of laminating, they essentially use L brackets to tie everything together. They use screws. And then uh, they have what they call a uh, siliprene material, which is basically an adhesive that goes on there as well. So that ties in, you know, every, all your joints where they come together as well as your fiberglass here itself. Cool thing about that is you won't have any delaminations because it's not a laminated product. So uh, definitely a very unique and excellent sidewall construction. As far as the roof itself, uh, again, that is, uh, you have aluminum rafters up there. That again has the wool insulation, rubber roof going all the way across. That is a fully walkable roof with 3 8 inch decking there. All right, back to the side of the RV here. This, of course, is your main entry door. Keyless entry on there, which is great in case you forget your keys or you just don't want to bring them with you. Maybe you're going down to the beach. You don't want to have to worry about it. Great, you can get in and out right there. You also notice you have a peephole in the door. If someone comes in your door, knocks on it, you want to know who it is, you're able to see that. 
large foldable grab handle here makes it easy to get in and out. You'll also see the uh, more ride steps, I'm sorry, the step above system that they have here. Uh, great step system. The cool thing about this, folks, is that it is extremely sturdy. Very easy to set up. It actually folds up into the doorway when you're not using it. When you want to, it folds right down. It has legs so you can adjust the height. And take a look at this. I mean, I can jump up and down here and the steps aren't moving. Also, aluminum steps there, so that way they won't rust out. You have the grip tape in case it's wet. This is a neat little touch too. You'll see right up here, it says welcome. So, you know, again, it's a nice little touch when you walk in. Sometimes it's kind of the small little things that I like when manufacturers do. Uh, we talked about the, the wheels and the axles there. Excellent suspension system in there too. Again, all that is Dexter components. Side windows on the slides. Uh, that's something I didn't really talk about inside, but that does allow for cross ventilation in case you don't want to run the AC. We'll open this up for you. You can see there is an outside TV here, Jensen Electronics. So if you want to watch some TV, as I mentioned, you do have that awning on there that rolls out so you can sit right underneath. If you take a look up above the awning, folks, you will see that this one also has slide toppers. And just that is an option, but just like the awning, that one also has the outside casing to help protect it. If we take a look at the back here, you'll notice the Cedar Creek also has a rear fiberglass cap. This is a great thing to have on an RV. It helps with insulation values, and plus, it just looks finished. A lot of manufacturers are going away from the rear cap. I personally love it. So you'll see that on here. If we st uh, start up top, you'll notice this one does have the backup camera, not just prep, but it does have the camera in there. You also have the rear mounted ladders that we can climb up onto that full walkable roof. As I mentioned, the, uh, inside you have the big rear picture window right there. And if we drop down below, you'll also notice right there you have a receiver for a bike. If we take a look right over here, you will see the power cord is on a power reel. This is great, folks. If you ever fought with a 50 amp cord when it's cold out, you know how tough it can be. Having the power reel there really makes the job a lot simpler. Also, if you take a look underneath, right in the center there, you will see your spare tire. Uh, you do have access to that from the other side in order to raise it up and drop it down. So you move up a little further on the off door side here, you will notice you have a storage location for your sewer hose. Directly underneath that is your suburban furnace there. And right down below, you will see the termination, the outlet there for your black and gray tanks. Moving up a little further, this is your uh, Gerard on demand water heater right there. And as we open up this panel, you will see uh, the rest of your convenience center right in here. So you have your um, manual slide controls right there. You'll also notice you have a light up top, outside shower with both hot and cold, your satellite and cable. This of course will be to fill up your tanks or city water for your fresh water, black tank flush. Uh, oops, sorry, black tank flush rather right next door there. Don't get those confused. That's for this guy. Battery disconnect is right here. And then if we move over to this side, you will see this little module there. What that is, folks, is that is your water heater bypass. So that way, when you're winterizing, you can make sure you're not putting a bunch of glycol in your water heater. That's for your front lights right here. And then these are all of your valves. Again, they are insulated and tucked away right in here. Right inside your off-door pass-through there is your auto level control. Again, you just touch a button and then the coach will level itself out. As we come around a little bit further up here, this is where your batteries will be stored. Notice you have two trays here, that way you can have two batteries. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Cedar Creek 38EL Champagne Edition. If you're interested in this beautiful RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.